Hello, racing fans. Welcome to Devil and Park. I'm your host, JJ Gracie. We'll be watching races from uh, Wednesday, July 27th. We had eight races here at Delaware Park. Our feature race was the seventh race. It was an optional claim in third 2000, going to mile 16th on the turf. Our main track was fast. The turf course was firm. The rail was out 20 feet. The weather here, the temps were in the 80s. Very light wind from the south. So let's get the action started here at Delaware Park. First half, the early daily double, Philly and Mare style. Eight down to seven, nine winners to two, going to mile and 70. Here's Josh. Here's the opener. Away and running. Good start in the middle for Bells will be ringing. Rail speed from Martha Rita and the pace is swift. And up the inside, Grand Diana shares third with Dixieland Dancer. And the last set of two with a seven and a half is Tina Shining Star, who is four deep. And the trailer, it is what it is. Around the first turn they go. The pace battle continues to ensue between Martha Rita and Bells will be ringing. And they couldn't be going any quicker for the level two. And they have built up a nine length lead. Crying Diana is all by herself in third and up the inside it is what it is to take that fourth place position away. Dixieland Dancers one path off the rail and Tina's Shining Star must be at least 15 plus lanes from the dueling top pair as they go down the back of the track. So Bells Will Be Ringing has a three quarter of a length lead as that half mile pull looms and Martha Rita has to dig deep and find more. Grand Diana is still seven lanes off the speed. Dixieland Dancers out deep it is what it is stays parked at the rail and Tina Shining Star still last of all. They turn again and Martha Rita battles back with stiffening resolve and trying to confront Bells Will Be Ringing. The back markers are showing up now. On the far outside, Dixieland Dancer looms an ominous presence. Grand Diane is at the rail. It is what it is. is six lengths down as they turn for home. Bells Will Be Ringing and Martha Rita continues this pace tug of war and they could be sitting ducks for Dixieland Dancer. Three across the track as they turn Turn for home. Dixieland Dancer has the momentum. Martha Rita digging down deep and so is Bells will be ringing inside the furlong grounds. Dixieland Dancer's out very deep and now strikes the front. Bells will be ringing ran a mighty big race. Grand Diana's late on the scene along with it is what it is but it's Dixieland Dancer's win. Dixieland Dancer going off at 7-2 wins the opener. Give uh, Michelle Summon her second. Give uh, Tritos his eighth. Give Dixieland Dancer her second win. The return 945 8360. Bells will be ringing $6.340. Grand Diana was third, 280, and the six was fourth. Your exact 1870 or 50 cent try, 3130 or 10 cent super, 2698. The second half, the early daily double, Philly Mare, optional claimant, six furlongs. Here's your start. Away and running. Great inside speed from a real jewel who beats everyone off the line. Mitty came away in that second place position and Dancer's Melody flashes speed but in third. Miss Betty had a little slow reaction when the starter said go and raced up at the five for long pull to grab third in front of Dancer's Melody and on your mother's last of all. So a real jewel is unopposed on the front end but now she gets a big time challenge from Miss Betty who's in a little tight while ground saving and Mitty has no excuses in the the three path as they make the turn. Dancer's Melody's coming under a ride in the long shot on her mother's last of all. Three furlongs out from the winning line. A real jewel continues to flash that speed and Mitty continues the chase. Miss Betty's under a loose rein trying to get closer. Dancer's Melody is coming alive on the outside and nothing from on your mother as they turn for home. A real jewel continues to call the shots as the favorites in deep water Miss Betty and Dancer's Melody's the only threat to a real jewel at the furlong pool. A real jewel is led it since the starter said go. Dancer's Melody no better than second. A good battle for third between Miss Betty and Mitty, but it's over with a two to one winner. And that two to one winner is a real jewel over Dancer's Melody. A real jewel gives great comp in his fourth. Michael Sanchez is first of a couple today, gave him his 13th. A real jewel is coming out of Al Allen's 43,000 into a other than. 
640, $3.220. That's the rest of the story. Dancers Metal Lee, 340, $220. Miss Betty was third, $220. The six is fourth. Your dollar exact, $820. Your 50 cent try, $1070. Your daily double, five and one, $1760. And you get a dime back refund. Philly Mayor claiming 16,000, one mile and 70 yards on the turf. Here's Josh, and here's your turfers. They're set. Away and running to a nice looking start. In the center, Miyayis was the first one to break the line. Lisa Marie, the favorite of showing speed, and the runner belongs to Miss Spoken on settling down. Brummigan joins that fight for that second place position, and Anna Hia's Dream came away in fifth. Karen's Katita protects the rail in sixth, and Chalk kills the gray in front of four rivals here, which is Princess Zuri, who's ground saving, perfect survivors out deep, Memories Eternal is second last, and very wide is Tappy Go Lucky. Six furlongs to go and me ya e seven to one of the betting board has a nice lead and the lead is almost four brum again holding second and a headstrong misspoken's a ground saving third a length and a half down from the trio of speed is lisa marie with no excuse today in spot number four and karen's katita continues to save ground but that one's passed by anna he is dream a gap of two back to memories internal who is still in front of four which is chalk hill tappy go lucky's on the move second last is princess Surrey and trailing is perfect survival they enter the turn, and Mi Yai has the pace in her hands. The lead is only a length. Brummigan is right there, upping the stakes in that second place position. Two paths off the rail is misspoken. Lisa Marie is ready to roll with those white blinkers, but is still four lengths down off the speed. And Karen Skatita is in fifth position as they turn in. Mi Yai has been this longtime leader. Brummigan continues the chase. Lisa Marie gathers momentum, but is still six lengths down from the solo speed. And Mi Yai trying to give this field the slip, but is a leg-weary leader. Brummigan is closing in. Karen's Katita is flying from out of the clouds. Miyai trying to huff and puff. Here comes Karen's Katita with a split. Karen's Katita is 25 to 1. Karen's Katita split horses. Give Alan Ferris his sixth. Donald Centeno is 27th. 25 to 1 on the winner. 52 dollars $25, 12 40 Burger game, 664.60, me, Yayas, 780, and the 12 was fourth. Your dollar exact is smooth, $124. Your 50 cent try, 632.25. Your daily double, a pair of ones, 98.30. 50 cent pick three, $212.15. We're gonna look at two year old maidens, 25,000, going five and a half furlongs. Here's Josh. Away and running. Great rail speed from He's Fired Up. Cold Feet's going to keep that one honest. And a trouble trip from Risky Ricardo at the back of the pack is the iron slip for the rider, Joseph Trejos. In that third place position, the Calora Kid now starts a steady advance and better before shares fourth along with the Great Pumpkin. Third last is Mean Tweet. Second last is getting down on it. And now the irons are back for Joe on the one, Whiskey Ricardo. They enter the turn with three furlongs to go. Cold Feet blazes the trail and shows the way by two. The Colora kids are tracking second and up the fences. He's fired up as they get towards the quarter pole. Cold feet trying to slip away from the opposition here. The Colora kid needs to dig deep and find more on debut. He's fired up, takes the inside trail. Wide for better before and the Great Pumpkin tries to close in along with mean tweets. But look at this dazzling display. Cold feet making a wonderful first impression at three to one. It's a good battle for second, but it's over up top. Cold feet in hand, in command, and wins for fun. Mean Tweets was second, getting down on it, got up for third. Cold feet going off three to one, first time starter for Cal Lynch. Cal gets his 14th, Michael Sanchez gets his second today, that's his 14th. Cold feet, a nice one, $8 for 83.80. Mean Tweets, 14.67.80, getting down on it, $4. And a six is fourth, you're exact at 49.20. Your try, 157.15, your daily double, 109.30. And your pick three, $168.85. Pick four, 831.50, 10 cents super, $114.92. We're going back on the turf course. Philly Mayor Officer claiming 47 and a half furlongs. Here's your start. 
away and running. Good speed from the outside barrier of Tacky Lady, and Cashing Big Checks protects the inside as they mix it up early, and Glossomer's also right there joining that fight, and looks don't lie is very wide around this first turn run. Settling in that fifth place position is practically there, and Dermy's in that sixth place position. As they navigate the first turn, Awfully Graceful's in front of three rivals, which includes a Razu, Downtown Katie, and Neon City as last of all. Exiting the first turn and cashing big checks is the pilot today and shows away by an act. Tacky Lady right there pushing the pace in second, and they are in step as they go midpoint of the backstretch run. Glossomer stays parked at the rail in that third place position, and looks don't lie getting a little closer too, is only two lanes off the speed. Practically there is ground saving, and Dear Me chases that one. Irazu starts to get on track with a wide trip from Awfully Graceful. Downtown Katie still in front of one, and Neon City is last of all. Five sixteenths of a mile to go, and Cashing Big Checks is bracing for the onslaught of challengers. Right there is Tacky Lady. Up the inside, Glossomer is desperately looking for space as they turn for home, and a wide trip from practically there, and dare me, they're homeward bound now, and Cashing Big Checks is the leader. Down the center is Glossomer, wide outside for downtown Katie, who tries to close in. Three of them across the course at the 16th pole, and at 4-1, to one, Cashing Big Checks still leading, Glossomer trying to pay. They get six to one, cashing big checks. Got it by a neck. Over cashing big checks, take a gate to wire, going off at four to one. Cashing big checks have been nothing but steak races except today. Give uh, Jamie Ness his 26th, give Jimmy Rodriguez his 49th, put 1065, 83, 20 in your pocket. Glossa Mayor 3640, 360, downtown KD 240, and the one was for 3530 on the exact at 4610 on the try. Daily double a pair of 4, 1760, 50 cent pick three, 285.75. Wire 10 cent super for $37.83. We're gonna go back on the dirt. dirt. Optional claim in 20,000, gone six furlongs. Here's Josh, and here's your start. Away and running. Good start of the middle for Severe, who breaks right on cue, showing pace on the outside is legal deal. And Fox Red is also mixing it up too, so those are the three on settling down. Coming away in fourth position is John's Promise, three quarters of a length in front of Expensive Style and Our Man Luke, and trailing out the back is Aspect. So three of them in a three pronged battle up top, and Severe leads the charge to the half mile pole, and that leads a long neck. Fox Red is right there, keeping the heat on in second, and legal deal is committed to a three-wide kick. All by himself is fourth is Expensive Style, who's trying to get on track. Our man Luke starts a steady advance. Dropping away was John's promise, and still last of all is Aspect. Midpoint of the one and only turn, Legal Deal has outside momentum. Still has to press past Severe. Dropping away was Fox Red, and warming up is Expensive Style, very deep as they swing in. Homeward bound now, and Severe continues to lead. Here comes the challenge from Legal Deal, and on the outside, Expensive Style is starting to gobble up a lot of ground. They're all over the place at the 16th pole. Legal Deal leads the charge. Expensive style very deep. Severe has no more to give. Here's Legal Deal, and Legal Deal has won it over Severe Expensive style. Legal Deal going off at 8-5, to five, shipping in from Monmouth Park. Give Carlos David his first. Give Reardon his first. And the winner returned 520-262-40. Seaver was second, 260-260. Expensive style was third, 420, and the one was fourth. Your exact 81740, your try $18. Your daily double was worth 1930, and your pick three, $31.60. 10 cents super, $13.80. That'll bring us up to the finale, which was optional claim at 32,000, going six furlongs. Here's your finale. Away and running. Good start for Stacks of Silver. Rail speed coming from XY Time, and on the outside, Call Kurt lines him up three across the course in the early mix. Loose Ends is up the inside in the brown cap in that fourth place position, and American Dioro is very deep under the line for the first time. Hard Stride came away in that sixth place position. Itaki's Verve probes up the rail. Just in the nick of time, makes Mr. Shades of Grey goes very wide. Passport is second last, and the early trailer is Robert's Luxury. That's the 11 of them that they got the 
six for long pole behind them. And XY Time is the one who controls the clock today and shows the way by a measured length and a tail. Call Kurt hot on the chase in second, and up the inside stacks of silver shares third. In between rivals is loose ends, and looping up on the far outside trying to get past the speed is American Dioro. In that sixth place position, Mr. Shades of Grey still heads a Takis Verve who's in traffic trouble. Hard strike in front of three rivals just in the nick of time. Passport is wide, and Robert's Luxury still trails. Three and a half for longs to go. XY Time continues to lead the charge around the second turn, and Call Kurt has been that pesky pace partner. They've kicked away to almost a three-length lead. American Dioro's trying to hold down third. Up the fence is stacks of silver as they get ready to turn again. A quarter of a mile from home, XY Time has been the speed. Call Kurt continues to chase. They swing in. Homeward bound now. XY Time is bracing for the onslaught of challengers, and the first one to get closer is Call Kurt. American Dioro is right there, too. They're at the gap, and now on the far outside, here comes American Dioro with power and pace. American Dioro over the top to photo with XY Time. It's a close photo, but we'll see who it goes to there. The winner was American Dioro, 1486, 2340, XY Time, 44280. Call Kurt returned $2.80, and the Three was fourth. Your exact at 29.20. Your try 51.50. Your daily double 24.20. Your pick three 53.20. And your 50 cent, ah, nice one, 10,475.80. 10 cent super, $126.06. Let's take a look at the leaderboard here at Delaware Park. You're going to see that Jamie Ness picked up a couple today, and Cal Lynch gets one today. And let's go to the eighth race here. Optional claim in 30, and here's your last. Away and run into a nice level start. On the outside, Yo Ness round on Kern was quick to leave the barrier, but there goes Burks to strike the front and do it with ease. Bossman JJ came away in second, and up the inside is Maine, and on the outside is Yo Ness round on Kern. Those are the first four as they flash behind the trees, and Mr. Mox gets closer to at the four and a half. And the last two is fourth, who's off the rail, and Bronco Maria trails with only four furlongs left to go. So with the money on, Burks has the pace in his hands, and it's it's a nice and relaxed lead of a length and a half. Yo Ness frown on Kern is a patiently tracking second. And Mr. Mox is in hand midpoint of the one and only turn. A distant fourth is Bain. And trying to close in his boss man, JJ, with a quarter of a mile to go. So Burks continues to call the shots. Yo Ness frown on Kern has shadowed the speed and a wide trip for Mr. Mox as they swing in. Fourth is starting to mount a bit in the yellow on the far outside. Three sixteenths to go. Burks continues to lead and has kicked away by two. Still holding on to second is Yo Ness frown on Kern. Here comes a late move from Bronco Maria, but Burks is well clear at one to two, and Burks reports home a four-length winner. Yo Ness frown on Kern held second. The Hibbert of favorite um, goes off at one to two. That was Burks. Give uh, Jamie Ness his 27th. Give Jimmy Rodriguez his 50. Give Burks $3 to 10 You're not resting around on Kern. Four dollars two sixty. Bronco Maria three dollars. The four was fourth. Your exact of five fifty. Your try eight sixty. Your daily double fourteen sixty. Your pick three fifteen seventy. And your pick four seventy seven forty five. And six dollars and forty three cents on your super. All right. Now we'll go back to the uh, leaderboard here. Jamie Rodriguez gets fifty. Carol Sedeno got twenty seven. She picked up one. Angel Suarez. Didn't do any. Michael Sanchez got two at 14. Not much change there. Jamie Ness gets two, 27. Cal Lynch gets one, 14. That was the only change on the leaderboard today. We were just watching the action from uh, Wednesday here at Delaware Park. So for the guys here at Delaware Park in the TV room, 2,070,840,000. Thanks for making that happen today. We'll be back here again tomorrow with eight other races from 1230 on. Good night and good racing. I'm JJ Gracie.